Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the May 6, 2019 edition of IMRU Radio Magazine. Out front and out loud since 1974. I'm Abby Dees. And I'm Wenzel Jones. We often gloss over the I in LGBTQI. Well, Vosh Bodhi is out to change that in this very special TTV. Talk to Vosh. This is Vosh Bodhi. It has been a very long time since a group of people on the planet have come together and declared themselves inherently different and in need of protection. I'm talking about the 1950s when Harry Hay and the Mattachine Society announced that gays and lesbians were different and deserved protection. Today, it's a different community. My special guest is Hida Valoria. Hi, Hida. Hi. Why don't you tell me how you identify yourself? I identify as a Latina intersex woman and writer, activist, human rights activist. And the word in that little phrase that probably most people aren't familiar with is intersex. What is intersex? Intersex people are born with, or sometimes develop in puberty, variations in biological sex. And that can look many different ways. It can be someone like me who's born with ambiguous genitals, or it can be people who are born with completely typical bodies but have a different chromosomal makeup that is not typical. There are variations such as XXY, XYY. There's people who are born with XY chromosomes, which are typically male, but look externally just like any other women. So they are labeled and raised as female, as you know, one would think, because why would you label someone who looked female anything else? And yet, by the technical definition, having internal testes and XY chromosomes They are not female by the technical definition. So we really make up a wide range of people who look very feminine, very masculine, and everywhere in between. So it's kind of impossible to lump us all together in a way. But what we do have in common is that we have sex traits which are different, and this is the reason that we are discriminated against. Wow. You are the physical forms of all of the chromosomal combinations that we know exist. Yes, exactly. Although I will say that there are...